In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve problems where uh, like a boat crossing a river. So here's the velocity of the boat. It's going to move across the river, and then the river is going to be moving down at 1.2 meters per second. So of course, the, the motion of the boat is going to be across the river and down. It's going to do both things at the same time. And you saw that, I think, in the demonstration in class. And then we know the width of the river. And, and uh, so in the first example, the boat is pointed straight across. And the good news is we can solve this using a uh, similar chart to what we did um, with projectile motion, right? So we're going to do the across direction, which will be to the right, and then downstream. I'm going to make downstream positive in a, a moment of being radical, right? And then we have uh, uh, displacement, and we've got velocity, and we've got time. And there's no acceleration, so that's the good news on this one. Uh, we've got displacement, velocity, and time. And let's see, in the across direction, this is our displacement. Right, our velocity across the river, since we're pointed straight across the river, all of that is across the river. So that's 3.5 meters per second. And then let's see downstream. Don't know the displacement, but we do know the, uh, the velocity is the current downstream. And that's the only velocity downstream since the boat is pointed straight across. Um, and then, you know, we can solve this, right? Uh, the only formula we're going to use is V is S over T. Okay. Here, we'll write it up there. V is S over T. All right, so um, I'm going to find time by going 120 divided by 3.5. And I get 34.29 seconds. And then, of course, time can get pushed across. That's a T right there, not a 6. Okay, so that's 34.29 seconds, right? And now we can use velocity times time as displacement in the downstream direction. And that's how far, by the way, how far, uh, where it lands, how far downstream it lands, right? Um, let's see, so S is 1.2 times 34.29.2 meters per second times 34.29 seconds. That's 41.148. I'll say one five meters, right? And then uh, let's see, we have two sig figs. So the time it takes to cross is 34 seconds. Uh, where it lands is uh, 41 meters downstream. And then the velocity is seen from above. Well, that's a little tricky, right? It's 3.5 over 1.2 down, right? So we could write the velocity two different ways, right? We could say, we could be smart alecky and say it's uh, 3.5 meters per second across in the across direction plus uh, 1.2 meters per second in the downstream direction. Yeah, as long as we know which way that is, right, we're good. Um, we could also find, uh, I think what they probably want is a angle magnitude vector, right? So that angle there is the tan minus 1 of 1.2 over 3.5. Okay, so second tan of 1.2 divided by 3.5. That's 18.9 degrees. I guess with two sig figs, 19 degrees, right? And then the, um, the speed of it as it moves, right? Since it's moving across and downstream, uh, the speed would be the square root of 1.2 squared plus 3.5 squared. The speed would be the hypotenuse, right? So 1.2 squared plus, and that's uh, 3.7 squared. What are the odds that that would come out even? It's amazing. Whoops. That's 3.7 meters per second is our, our speed, right? So the velocity is seen from above is 19 degrees downstream, right? And 3.7 meters per second as a speed. The boat would, of course, be always pointed across the stream. It would just be moving to the side and across. Okay?